Welcome to Elements 2. I'm going to try to go over as much as possible on what's new and some of the features. Now there's a lot of confusions on what's new and what it could do. Wellcom had put a lot of effort in creating this. The first on our list is cross stitch fill. Now you could actually bring in the complex fill and I'm just going to make a quick object through here. Say my entering and exit points and the stitch angle. By clicking on this object, you can see through here, through the cross stitch fill, I'm going to tack this down, that we are on a cross stitching. You can actually base the stitch by inches. You can actually go through millimeters by stitches. You could actually go through the thread counts of two, four, six. You could choose the type of fill as you may want it upright or you may want it uh, cross on there. And then the direction of the stitches through here, you may choose the different stitch directions through here. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is the stipple. Now stipple is actually through here. We can actually now reshape our objects. In the past, when we created the stipple, you can actually change the, uh, the stipple by adjusting the stitch length. You could actually change the coral gap. You could actually change the count stitches. And then you could also adjust the amount of loops of the spacing. The next one on our list is the free hand. So it's actually got to fly out through here on the tool, but I'm, I already brought that out. And what's here is going to bring out the question is how smooth you want this. Now you can use this with the mouse. Otherwise, if you have a tablet as such as a Wacom tablet or a Syntec uh, where you draw on a screen, which I do, you could adjust the smoothness of the how accurate you are. Then you could adjust how these circles are. There's actually circles through here that will show you how many how close those circles are and then you could adjust the amount of circles through here. So if I want to create a circle radius and have a gap is one millimeter or have them a little farther apart, I could do that. By selecting that, you could actually touch the screen and no more left clicking and draw on the screen by pressing enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom on this and what I like to do is put my needle penetration on the screen so we can see this. As you see through here, you have different stitch length variants on there. So if I want to longer stitches, I can do that. So it creates longer on there. Now you can reshape this just like if you drew it with your manual run stitches or so forth. The next one on the list is actually the close object. So if you're drawing through a little circle through here, you could actually press enter and it will automatically close your line on there. And then finally, we have a complex fill. So depending on the type of stitches, I'm going to do a complex fill here. Real simple, I'm going to draw the line and press enter and it will create a complex fill. And the last one on our artistic effect, they had created what's called a stamp. What I'm going to do is create a complex fill here and real quick here create that fill pattern. I'm going to turn on the true view so you can see a better view. Now I have this object selected. Now I'm going to go to my list of the stamp. On the stitch effects you will see the view and you have a little stamp. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. That'll bring out my flyouts. Now Wilcom has several different preloaded carving stamps. You can create your own stamps through the list as you may see through here. So if you like uh, some of the fancy fills or objects that might have been created. So here's a couple little stamps through here. 
and what I'm gonna do is grab a little stamp through here this is the stamp through here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the screen you can scale it up and down to the different size and create a stamp through there you may want to check another one out here and let's go ahead and scale that down let's see here you may want to create it that is a more of a satin stitch so you would click on satin stitch and then click on the raise effect and now there's a satin stitch the next one on our list is auto letter spacing so what I'm going to do is show you a little sample letter spacing by scrolling over here on letter spacing I'm going to go ahead and right click on the property box here and tag this down down on our list you will see auto letter spacing and what this does is bring up a dialog box and you could create letter spacing based on how many letters you have so for a sample I type in the S A and I created a one inch spacing and then I went down the list through here involves three letters it would have uh, less spacing four letters and five letters and so forth so for a sample here I will create this letter spacing and as you can see on this sample if it was two letters it might only have might have one inch spacing on three letters I may want less spacing and so forth what I'm gonna do is click on here and type in there and go to the SA and update that now you see there is a lot of spacing through there and now if I type in the next one it will create more less spacing and the next one creates a little less spacing and so forth as you can see it started creating different spacing this also works for team names so if you tend to use team names you can use letter spacing there also now we're going to get into multi decoration one thing that Wellcom has introduced is called blings which is actually rhinestones or studs now you could go through your list and create different rhinestones in here and change the colors on there you can use different shapes in that now depending on if you tend to have a machine that will place them down or you have a cutter it allows you to have allowance on your cutter so if your cutter has offset blades you can allow that so it will make a little larger circle than what the actual rhinestone is you can also create a overcut so if you need to make sure you cut a little beyond the circle to make sure you get a nice clean cut you can do that and then the tolerance you could allow over tolerance on here you have the run tool so you can create a run through here and click on there I'm gonna also go through here and go through my properties through here and tag this you can create different bling shape just the spacing through here so you may want them a little farther apart or less on there you could adjust the angles so if you have different shapes you could just how follows that line and then whether you want to fix the zack path of there or you want to extend the path on there you can also create multiple lines on here so your second one might be different color or sizes on there you could do complex fill now also so you could actually take a different lettering on there and create complex fill and yes you can create it with lettering so if you want a fancy s on there and let's move this down here so we can see that and you could actually create it to fit that letter s on there so you can create that along with that you can actually create a fill pattern so along with the fill pattern you have different types of fills as you may want it as a contour or you may want a column fill you could adjust the stitch angle on there so if you need to change that stitch angle to a 45 you could adjust that stitch angle as a 45 you can really do that manually or graphically that's up to you you could change that 
you could create multiple lines so if you have a second color you could create a second color on there you could give that amount of spacing between there or repeat it multiple lines also with the multi decoration Wilcom has also improved the sequence and added sequence fill along with the twin sequence now here's a sample of what you might have with twin sequence that you have different color sequence there as you see there now on the sequence toolbar you can create different sequence and add more on there you could also determine if you have a dual sequence you could create that and along with that you have different products through here as the the way it may feed through the machine if your sequence is coming from the north or south or different angle on the machine along with that you have the fill sequence now you can create different sequence on there as a fill on there you could change the direction and how they go from layout left to right or right to left you could add margins and you could even check the sequence border or fills and so forth along with the having multi decoration you need to have multi decoration and export them out you can actually export these designs out any way you want so I'm gonna go ahead and export as multi decorations now through the list here you will see you have several different options you have a way to export out as embroidery file you may want to use a bling as as I selected I have a cutter and select the type of bling output you could create a single file you could create multiple file and so forth you could go ahead and select the design name and also choose where you want to save that the next one on the list is team names now Wilcom has improved team names and added templates I have a design up here and you will see through here they have created the list through here where you could add team names and more so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my team names now you will see there is layouts you can add layouts there might be three name layouts there might be a two name layouts or one name I'm gonna go ahead and select a team names you can create your own layouts also now I could actually move that to my position generate my stitches through here and through the team name list you will see through here that I could actually go through my list of names and I could actually select the names and see how they will lay out on this so you can create a list of names through here run it on a single head or a multi head machine another new feature is they did is close object what I mean by close object if you create a design on there is I'm gonna use my run stitch through here and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on here press enter I created this object through here but I may want to close that object so under the range you will see close object now you could close it with a straight line or a curved line so if I want to create a straight line it will automatically close it otherwise if I want to create a, a circle through here with the run stitch or even with a different tool through here I could create that through here and click on there and then determine my stitch spacing and then select that object and go arrange and close the object with the curved line now this tool can be used in multiple different input methods so you can use it not just in the run input C or more you can do it with several different objects